Hey everyone, Avermile here, and today I'm doing another Dragon Ball Super figure. This is Android 17 from the Dragon Stars series. And as you can see, comes with a couple extra hands. And on the side of the box, it's just him. And on this side, just a little window there. And on the back, we got some more figures from different lines. So for Series 9, there's Piccolo. There's Frieza First Form and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Which is really weird how this is Dragon Ball Super, but they have things like Dragon Ball GT. I understand the Dragon Ball Z, but GT also? Oh well, and for Series 10, we have Android 17, which we have right here in the box. There's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then there's Cell Final Form. So why don't we get this guy out of the box and uh, take a closer look. And here he is out of the package. Now, I was really uh, kind of excited for this one. Because if you remember, the last one I did was Android 18. We'll just put her in the back over here. And they didn't have 17 uh, at any of the places I went to. But luckily... This morning I went out, and he just happened to be at one of the stores I was at. I was at a, actually a Walmart. So I was very happy when I saw him, because when I was reviewing 18, I said, Oh, I would love to be able to find 17 so I could have them next to each other. And look, wouldn't you know it, now I do. Well, let's see. Let's talk about some accessories first. All he came with was extra hands. So he obviously has closed fists. Then he also has these open hands. And he has two of these. And he also comes with these partially open hands. And two of those. And the hands are very easy. Just take them. Pop them on. Pop them off, pop them on. That's all you have to do. So why don't we talk about some of the coloring here. So, he's got the same, well almost the same hairstyle as his sister over there. Except his is black. And it's pretty much all the same around. Just the same length. Yeah, so the only real difference between the hair is his is parted right in the middle. Hers is parted a little bit more to her left side. Now, he has the black hair, blue eyes, and he's got this bright orange scarf. And underneath the scarf, you can see his red ribbon emblem. Now, the scarf is loose on him, so you can move that around. So if he took his head off, you could take that. But I'm not going to do it. Because I don't know if it would break or not. And I'm not willing to test it. So he's got on a black shirt with a white sleeves underneath. He's got on a brown uh, holster. With a pistol right there. And he's got a brown belt with a yellow buckle. He's got on his... Faded blue jeans, green socks, and blue and white sneakers. And then if you look at details, you see on the back, he's got some pockets down there. Little tie right there for his scarf. Now, unlike 18, where her red ribbon emblem was uh, molded onto it, this one's just painted all smooth, no bumps. If you look at the holster, he has his little gun. It doesn't come out. It's permanently a part of it. It's all one piece. But, you know, that's loose too. You can actually just rotate it around if you wanted to. I don't know why. See, he's got like a little bit of a, a tear in his jeans right around his knee. Looks like he might have to get a new pair. And, of course, the socks, if you look. Little lines that are part of the mold. That's pretty cool. Bottom of the shoes, just white. Nothing special. 
Yeah, I was so happy to find him. I was like, oh my god. I wasn't even going out to the store to get any figures today. I was actually just doing normal shopping. But I was like, you know, I cannot pass this up. I needed it, so I got it. Now, his actual name is Lapis, and he's the twin brother of Android 18, back when they were human. Yes, they were once human. I don't know if they talk about that in Dragon Ball Z, but it is somewhere where it's mentioned that they were human at some point until Dr. Jiro ended up uh, turning them into the androids. And then, of course, they killed Dr. Jiro, and then... They wish everyone back from the Cell games that died, and or anyone that was a victim of Cell. So, that's why these two are alive in the series. And he ends up becoming good, and he has a wife and a child, and they're actually on their way to adopt two more kids. Uh, by the time Goku goes around and asks him to join the Tournament of Power. But yeah, in GT, he ends up getting brainwashed and merging with... Another 17 from Hell, and they become Super 17. But then Goku ends up defeating him. But I just love these figures. Now, I wasn't originally going to get the androids, because I was more interested in wanting to get, you know, like different Gokus, Vegetas, but I'm finding all these other ones, and when I look at them now, I'm like, you know, I might as well get them. Because I do want at least one of everybody. So I think that would be pretty cool, especially when I put them all up on my shelves. I don't have many of the uh, Dragon Stars line, and I only have one. I only have one from SH Figures, which I'll be doing a review on that some other time. But I have a bunch of the old ones, like I'm talking back in the '90s figures, and I mean they were putting figures out. No one even knew what they were unless they watched like subtitled episodes because in the States it went up to the Namek Saga and then it just stopped. And it was like that for a few years. We didn't get anything new. So you had to, I guess, go online or go to special shops to get, you know, the episodes. But they weren't, they wouldn't be in English, but they were popping out toys. Like, I know they had a, a Kabito. I got that, and I was like, who is this guy? Like, what is he from? I have no idea. And it wasn't until a few years later when they actually put out the Frieza saga through, I want to say it was Cartoon Network, that we actually understood what the figures were. But now, they could put out anything, and people are like, oh, I know who that is. Yeah, so, yeah, back to the figure. So, he can move his head, neck, he can move his waist, arms up here, then around the bicep area, he's got the butterfly joints for the elbows, he can move his hands, he can move his legs, he's got more butterfly joints for the knees, and then he can twist his feet. I just love how accurate these figures look, I'm a big fan of them. Bandai's always been pretty good with the, you know, the details on things. I mean, you put them next to each other, that just looks great. Oop. Sorry, 18. There you go. Yeah, and if you look, you can actually see that 17 is taller than 18, just by a smidge. But there is a height difference. Yeah, so that's my review on Bandai's Dragon Star series, Android 17. I hope you all like it. And, you know, as always, you can leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. And I will see you all later.